Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Friday, May 21st, and I'm at the uh, Beach Lodge in Nottingham. Uh, yesterday was an absolutely glorious day. Have you ever been in a bed that you just didn't want to get out of? That's today. Uh, yesterday ended in uh, Scarborough. Uh, I got out of bed, went for breakfast, had the big English breakfast, and then headed on the road. But instead of just going straight for my next destination, I went down to the seaside resort and uh, checked it out, walked around, played on the beach, and took some photographs. And uh, those are posted on my Facebook and on my blog, so you guys can check them out more on my Facebook than the blog because it's easier there. But uh, uh, still some pretty cool pictures. Uh, I love the scenery, and there was a giant, massive hotel down there that just looked spectacular. Uh, got on the road, and... Excuse me, a little tired. It's 8.30 in the morning and I was out until um, oh, 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, we got on the road. Uh, I was uh, headed out, to, well, was out of Scarborough probably around 11 o'clock in the morning. And uh, it was a long drive for me because uh, Gypsy, my sat-nav, the GPS, had trouble uh, getting here because uh, there are several new uh, junctures on freeways uh, or motorways here. Uh, but I did get here. I uh, found the beach lodge. It's just uh, a lady's home, but she's turned into a bed and breakfast, and it's beautiful. She's a super nice host and uh, hostess. And um, once I checked in, I gave uh, Mark Oberon a call. Uh, Mark's a brilliant magician from the Nottingham area. And uh, we got together and spent the day, went to see where Nottingham Castle is, went to see the Robin Hood statue, and I took a few pictures. Yep, that picture's up on the blog. And then uh, dropped into a little local uh, trick and joke magic shop, and after that, <laughs> Went for sushi, the highlight of the day. Yes, uh, went to a place called Yo Sushi. I believe I've been to one before when I was in London. Uh, my uh, friend took me there. Uh, I think it was Yo Sushi. I uh, had a good time. Uh, ate Connie, uh, ate Ebi, uh, had salmon sashimi and some tuna sashimi. And uh, uh, then uh, I headed off to uh, do the lecture. Uh, the Magician's Guild's uh, Magic Club wasn't very far, about 15 minutes from the Beach Lodge, and it was a great turnout. Uh, lots of guys, uh, lots of uh, fun, uh, some pretty uh, pretty good magicians in amongst the group, which was great, and uh, some great reactions from uh, the people helping me with the magic. Uh, all in all, a fun evening. On the way home, uh, I followed Mark uh, back towards the Beach Lodge, and we missed it. So we turned into a pub, and... Uh, had a few drinks and sat and talked, and uh, I tried steak-flavored crisps. Uh, that's chips to us, uh, and uh, they were fine. And then I uh, did a couple of card tricks. Uh, I was going to show Mark some technique. He forgot his uh, car lights on, so he went out. By the time he came back, I had attracted a crowd. There was like uh, eight guys and a couple of girls. The uh, uh, two girls were, uh, one was a waitress, and one was uh, uh, obviously the uh, most popular girl in the bar, because there was only like three girls in the whole bar. Uh, Sophie and Sam were the names, and I uh, did some magic for them. Uh, the waitress, uh, Sam, was not as impressed. Uh, she had a friend, James Parker, who does magic, and he knows how all those tricks work. And then I vomited cards from her mouth, and she freaked out, and that was really fun. Uh, then they started dragging people over, group by group, and uh, uh, I did a whole bunch of stuff. And then uh, took a few minutes to explain a technique that uh, Mark wanted to learn, and very cool. Mark turned around and taught me a technique that uh, I'd read hundreds of times a Brother John Hammond's Gemini count, but I could never grasp it in a book. And in less than five minutes, uh, uh, Mark, an excellent teacher, showed me exactly what to do, and I was able to do it. I uh, ended our little session by doing uh, Jim Kelly's three-card trick without the Kelly drop. And uh, I think I did it three times before Mark got an inkling. And yes, I know I shouldn't do it more than once, but I did it repeatedly because I wanted to show Mark how it worked because I think uh, Jim Kelly's idea was very clever. Uh, and, uh, well, I got back to the room around 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, got to Skype by Hannah and uh, have a little chat. I uh, said hi to Lori. And uh, um, now I'm uh, getting ready to get out of bed, go down and have an English breakfast, full English breakfast, and then get on the road. It's Bradford tonight. And... Uh, I think what I'm going to do is arrive in Bradford and uh, see if I can check into a hotel and sleep through the day. I'm going to try to turn my clock starting now. Sleep right through the day, get up, do the lecture, because after the lecture ends, which will be like 11 o'clock at night, uh, I'll have a couple hours in the hotel and then go uh, straight to Manchester, which is about an hour away. I have to drop off the rental car and I have to check in two hours before my flight, which is at 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh... <coughs> 
well uh, I'm gonna let you guys go but before I go I got to touch base with my uh, my brother from a different mother Kieran Buffery today he phoned uh, about 7:30 this morning and uh, we chatted uh, he's back on the uh, radiance of the sea for the next three months offers a fabulous adventure of uh, New Zealand Australia Dubai uh, Thailand and uh, he let me know that uh, my buddy Simon Jukes is back working on the Voyager of the Seas. So there's two of my friends uh, sitting on uh, Royal Caribbean ships. I also found out that uh, I'm going on the Norwegian Star. I think I told you that from uh, June 12th to July 11th. And that uh, I'm going to see a friend I haven't seen in a very long time. Ray Carr is going to be the cruise director. Haven't seen Ray Carr in uh, so long. It'll be fun to catch up and see what's up. Uh, but hey, uh, uh, lots to do before that. Uh, get home, I'll straighten up some things around the house. Um, my birthday, June 7th, gonna have some fun there. And then, uh, uh, oh, I got Rusty's wedding, and uh, Rusty and Andrea's wedding to go to, and uh, and then on to the ship. And uh, all in that time, I'm gonna finish off my uh, stuff for uh, FISM. Uh, so you guys uh, have a glorious day. Uh, live every day uh, like it's your last, and one day, <laughs> you'll be right. Uh, I was listening to uh, uh, Bruce Coburn, and uh, he had a uh, great line in his song. Uh, I actually put it up on my uh, Facebook, and the line uh, basically read uh, something to the effect of, um, oh, what was it? Uh, Nothing worth having comes without some kind of fight. You gotta kick at the darkness till it bleeds daylight. Uh, you guys have a great day. Uh, keep busy, keep well. Most of all, be happy. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.